How's it going everyone? My name is Devin from Debo's Fishing. You've probably seen people make their own soft plastics using a two-piece mold like this. You may not know that Do-It also offers a number of open pour molds just like this. So this is a one-sided mold uh, and just as the name implies, you're using this open mold to pour soft plastic down into it. Now, this is a great way to get started. There's not a bunch of overhead to it. You don't need plungers and all these other things. Uh, you know, simply a Pyrex bowl, some plastic, couple colors and glitter and you can go. Or uh, a lot of people like to start this way if they've got a whole bunch of used soft plastics that you want to remelt, uh, you can do that. You know, pick a mold that you use a lot like this, a big worm or, uh, you know, a, some sort of creature bait like this, something that you probably throw a lot already. Uh, use those plastics that you already have uh, and make your own this way with an open pour. I've got a couple colors heated up behind me in the microwave ready to go. And if you've got any specific questions on how long do you heat the plastics, how much color do you add, how much glitter, uh, in the How We Do It series, there's a number of dedicated videos specific to that that really go in depth to help you if you've got any questions on that process. I'm going to take you through the process of making an open pour soft plastic. And the really fun part about these is you can get as crazy as you want. You know, you're kind of limited with uh, an injection mold like this. You can do a two color laminate. Uh, there's an, a number of other things you can do. But with this, you can really do dots, you can do lines, uh, and you can do different layers. So you could really have two, three, four, five layers. Uh, as you get better at pouring uh, and doing that with this as opposed to, you know, kind of your limited options there. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the purple. We're going to make our own type of morning dons here. So uh, when you look at the mold like this, you have to remember that the color you put in first is going to be on the top with this specific mold. So when it comes out and I flip it over, the flat part will be on the bottom uh, and the top part's going to be my first color here. So this is going to kind of be our purple color here. I'm going to load the soft plastic in, try to get a good steady soft stream. That's okay if you get a little on the sides, you can always just pinch it off, not a big deal. Now I'm going to try to get a good even pour on the way down and let gravity do the work. Uh, you don't want to incorporate a bunch of bubbles into this. Ooh, like that, a little bit too much. But again, not a big deal, I can let that go down and I'll show you the process of kind of snipping the sides off here. Because it happens to everyone and I am not a master at this. So do not be intimidated because everybody is always learning. That's the fun part of soft plastic making is you can always get better. So we're going to let that go down. I got this just a little bit full in the middle. That's okay. We're going to let that one dry up. And I'm going to show you again on this side. Got just a little bit too much in on that first one. You want to go with a real small bead and try to fill this up in short little layers. So this one I'm going to try to go a little bit less. Go with a little bit less plastic. And when you get just a little bit too much in there, stop pouring. And let it kind of run down, let the gravity do the work, just like that. So you can see here, they're just a little bit different here. This first one I got a little bit too full, but that's okay, there's still room in the bottom. And as that soft plastic cools, it's gonna shrink a little bit and pull in toward the, the sides of this mold that are cooler. So this will give us kind of a couple cool different looks here. You can see the, the tail is more full on this one. Barely touch the tail on that one. Again, we can pull this off after it cools. Okay, so as you can see here, I love a little bit that went over the sides, but that's not an issue at all. Just take and press your thumb. As you can see there, just push with a good hard pressure and you can see it's a good clean line still. So if you have a little bit like this that runs over the edge, don't worry, you didn't mess it up. Uh, you can clean it up just like that so you can see the difference. Bad, good, just roll with it. Okay, so got the second color here heated up and ready, and this is gonna be our pink. So remember, this will be the bottom of the bait. Now this first one's a little bit more full, so I'm gonna pour a little bit more toward the head and kind of let this run down. I got a little bit, you can see I got a little bit thicker in the middle here as I go down, but that's okay. Again, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with this, and you'll be surprised. Some of these I've, I've made and I think, oh, I've messed this up so bad, this is not gonna work, and then you pull it out, and it's like, actually, that looks kind of neat. So with this, I'm gonna let this run down. You can see they're filling up all the edges of the tail. Okay, I'm filling up the second one here. You can see just next to this one on that right side. I accidentally touched it with my glove. Happy accident, it's okay, roll with it. Again, it'll be on the bottom of the bait and you can pinch that off anyway. This second one looks a thousand times better than that first one I did. And that's okay, it just takes practice. This is real time we're doing this in here. This isn't any sort of movie magic. They don't always turn out perfect. But like I said, wait until the the, uh, the worm is completely done because a lot of times they may not look the greatest uh, as your form, but when you take it out, you'd be surprised. So after you've poured the plastic all in, you're trying to fill up all the cracks, just move the mold left and right. Watch that uh, you know hot plastic all moving around. Make sure you've got kind of all the corners and edges filled in uh, and then set it down and we'll let it cool. 
Okay, so we let these soft plastics cool down. Let's see what they look like taking them out. Oh yeah, and as I said, the bottom might have a little imperfection or two, like this one where I touched it. You can see there, it doesn't always come out perfect, but this is the bottom of the bait. You can just trim that off. The top of it looks really cool. Let's take a look at this one here. Yeah, that one turned out a lot cleaner. And you can just kind of trim the edges of these. So where there's a little bit, they call this flashing, where the, uh, the soft plastic kind of comes out the side. You can take scissors and just trim that off and it will give a completely clean look just like these. Um, these had flashing on the side as well. You just take scissors, trim that, and it looks completely perfect. So this is really soft plastic making it its purest form. You know, this is an old way of doing it. Again, you just need an open mold. You can pour whatever colors you want in there. Again, get as crazy uh, or as generic like this. This is just a couple colors together and still comes out looking really neat. You can see with just the tail there, you know, with a little practice, you could do forks in the tail. You know, you can go crazy. But for more tips and tricks like this, check out the How We Do It series on the Do It YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and uh, until next time.